Tuesday, July 23rd. I'm Paul Joseph Watson. This is InfoWars Nightly News. Tonight, while U.S. intelligence committees approve arming Syrian rebels, a massive al-Qaeda prison break at Abu Ghraib, and even more fluoride in your food than in your tap water? All that and more on tonight's InfoWars Nightly News. Top story tonight, Russia orders snap drill of missile forces. This is out of Infowars.com. Just days after it concluded the biggest military exercise since the Cold War, Russia has ordered its missile forces to conduct a snap drill in order to ascertain the readiness of putting intercontinental ballistic missiles on high alert within a short time frame. So while Barack Obama was concerning himself with a uh, court case out of Florida, the Russian bear roars once again. The drills which will run until Saturday involve the redeployment of missile units which include those tipped with nuclear capable Topol, Topol SS-25 Sickle ICBMs and Voyevoda SS-18 Satan ballistic missile systems. Quote, the goal of this snap check is to assess the ability of missile units to go on high alert in required time and to evaluate their readiness to perform the designated tasks said Colonel Igor Yegorov, a spokesman for the Defense Ministry in Russia. So as we reported last week, of course, Russia just staged the largest military exercises since the Soviet era in the aftermath of the Israeli attack on Russian-made weapons in Syria, which was announced last week, occur occurred, of course, early in July. And uh, the exercise, the biggest exercise since the Cold War, according to Konstantin Sivkov was aimed at U.S. and Japanese forces. So the question is, now we've got another snap drill which Putin has ordered for the missile systems to be ready. Is Russia gearing up for a major conflict? Well, they're increasing their military expenditure by 60% by 2015, while the U.S. is reducing its military expenditure 15%. Part of that expenditure, of course, is paying for these new Yars-M ICBMs that can penetrate U.S. missile defense systems. Simultaneously, we have the U.S. aiming its European-based missile systems at Russia while claiming that they're to counter Iran. And back in May, the Russian Prime Minister Dmitry Medvedev called on the nation's defense industry to provide state-of-the-art weapons superior to their Western analogs. So he's basically saying... We want our missiles to be bigger, better, go further than anything that the U.S. is developing. So while the economic downturn has reduced military outlay in places like America and Europe, both China and Russia continue to build. And the U.S., of course, has exploited the North Korean provocation to build up its presence in the Pacific, which again is aimed at Russia and China. What we know for sure is that while the U.S. continues to be overstretched in the Middle East as a result of its attempts to occupy that region, Russia is getting militarily prepared to an extent that we've not seen for decades. Now you can watch the InfoWars Nightly News streaming live as it happens for free. Check it out at InfoWars.com forward slash show.